All right. Okay. I thought it would probably be easier to just do a video review on this monitor on Amazon as opposed to just writing away. Not much I can really write. And in the upcoming shots, you'll see the problem that I'm having with these two monitors back here. It's, God, it's absolutely gorgeous monitor. I didn't originally like it because I thought it looked like a sewing machine. I thought the design was a little strange, but it is a good looking monitor. Still think the design's a little strange. Colors are beautiful. Um, it's fast, 120 hertz. And, you know, I almost had to do nothing. It just powered on. But I do have a big issue with the light leak. And I think it's a light leak, not positive. And on both monitors, I have two of them now. I purchased one off of Amazon, and it had a problem. I armed it, and they sent me a second one overnight. And it has the same exact problem. And I've contacted Samsung. I've sent them two emails. I've talked to their customer reps uh, twice. And their only resolution right now is to send it to them, and they'll repair it for me. That's not acceptable. Why in the world am I going to buy a new monitor and send it to Samsung for repair? Uh, they, they consider them defective. They've seen the photos I've sent them. They don't believe that it should be doing what it's doing. Uh, I may talk to Amazon and, you know, say about getting one more here and seeing if we can, you know, third time's a charm, right? Well, we'll get on with the video and you'll see the issues, both of them. It's down this lower corner. Now, uh, you probably can't see it from that far away right now. But if I were to move my taskbar up to the top of the screen, right down here in this corner, there's a little black area. And if I had a black back background, which I can change real simple here. And if I went to a black one, then you'll see that it will turn a light gray. It's almost like there's a light sitting right here. And there's a little bit of bleed right along here. The second monitor is actually worse. It's got a little bit more along the, the bottom edge. Uh, this, this area here is a little bit larger. Uh, this one has a little bit along here. Now, I get it that these are backlit monitors. I understand that. Um, no questions about that. But for there to be a spot like that, nah. My TV is a backlit uh, TV, and it certainly doesn't have hot spots like that. This particular monitor also has an area right over here on the left-hand side, about down around the bottom, where you can see they're doing the same thing. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think it's gorgeous. Love the colors, paid good money for it, and uh, would like to see a good monitor be working. Okay, so here goes my issues. Monitor number one. Look down at the bottom right hand corner, see the, the white light. That's what we're looking at. Just ignore the guy behind the camera. It's a shame it doesn't have a less glaring screen. And then when it's booted, I went ahead and moved the taskbar up to the top. It's black down at the bottom right hand corner. Okay, that's monitor number one. Okay, I'll do this again with monitor number two. The bottom right hand corner. It's even a little bit brighter inboard, I believe. It could be about the same. I think it's brighter than the first one. It's hard to tell though. I ended up with two, because I purchased one, received it, saw the light leak, and then RMA'd it with, new, with Amazon. Thank you Amazon for such a great RMA process. They sent me a sec the second one, 
and it was actually worse than the first one. It's an, a beautiful monitor. I've taken pictures and I've sent them to Samsung. They're saying that it shouldn't be like that. If I want to send it to them, then they can repair it for me. Well, that's kind of goofy. They're both brand new. Why would I want to do that? And again, the bottom right corner is has that black spot. Okay, one more test, and then we'll be done. This is monitor number one. It's in a self-test mode, and it's just simply not hooked up to a cable. And I just this completely gets rid of it being my computer, my video card. The problem is the monitor. You can see the light down on the bottom right hand corner. Same thing with monitor number two. Down the bottom right corner, see the light leaking in. It's in self-test mode, it's not hooked up to any cables at all on the computer. You know, it's not the end of the world, but for a, what, six or seven hundred dollar monitor, shouldn't be doing that at all. Samsung has not really provided any good answers besides sending it in and then they'll repair it. Oh, that's just goofy. Don't buy some. Well, I've got a little bit of a hard decision to make. You know, do I live with it? Do I return them both? Do I return one and then try to get Amazon to send me a second one? Or maybe even Samsung can send me a, a second one. Um, I don't know. And then they can take the first one I bought back and go fix it. I don't know. We'll see if Samsung steps up to the plate and see what my recourse is. But right now, it's, I don't know. I like the monitor and I hate to give it up. But there are other monitors out there and maybe that's what I'm going to have to do. You all take care. Hope this helped. Okay. Yeah, beautiful monitor, isn't it? Gorgeous colors. Ah. <sighs>